Hey everyone, and welcome to the North Park Youth Podcast. I am your host, Cody, and normally we have Josh over here, but Josh is at school right now. Mm. He's in BC. So we have, would you like to introduce yourself? I guess so. I guess this is where I step in. Uh, my is. name is Joel Kelsey. I am new here to North Park. Uh, I am the director of outreach. We've been here for almost two months. Um, yeah. Nice. And good times. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So can you explain a little bit of what the director of outreach does? What you What do? I do? <laughs> so I come in every day. Um, no, I, so half of my job is looking after some of the online stuff that we do as a church. Um, so working with our online community, um, those who watch live stream and also trying to figure out ways how we can engage our community digitally. Uh, and then the other half is working with our community partners, our um, missionary partners, our influencers, kind of anyone that we as a church send out and support doing missions. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, we'll get right into it here. What we do normally when we have guests, as the viewers will probably know, hopefully, if you haven't, go back, or if you don't, sorry, go back and listen to the two episodes we did, I think, in season two uh, with our special guests. Uh, we ask questions based on past episodes. Great. So, first question, we're just going to jump right into we're it. Just going in. I don't know any of these. <laughs> This is from season. Yeah, this is something I explained to Joel. Is this is like straight off the cuff, off the dome. Uh, right. He does no preparation except for one question. But yeah, which he was thrilled about. I'm but thrilled. <laughs> I okay. love not knowing things. Yeah, I know. First questions from season three, episode eight. You, what is your favorite, or I guess who is your favorite Disney movie character? What What counts as a Disney movie character, though? A character in a Disney movie. But like Disney owns. Everything. Oh, that's a good point. Like, are we counting Marvel, oh, Star Wars? Something. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is not something I had thought of before, but yeah, why not? Improvisation. Who is on the spot? Oh, that makes it worse. That makes it okay, so much Okay, fine. Worse. Let's just okay, go like with classic like, Disney. Like, let's go with like animated, like Disney, like princess movies. Um, man, this is why I I feel <laughs> like there's still way too many people. Um, big fan of a uh, Goofy. Mm. Uh, I think it's pretty dope. Like, I don't know you guys. Have you seen the Goofy movie? I haven't. It's no. great. Great. Great okay. movie. Like, do you know who Powerline is? No. This is really, da- this movie is from like <laughs> when I was like four. Um, yeah, great movie. Goofy. We'll okay. go with Goofy. Classic. I, I Go watch Goofy, I guess. Yeah. The Goofy movie. Just the, the first one. Don't watch Original. the second one. Yeah. There you go. What are, what are your thoughts on um, oh, Flynn Rider from Tangled? Hey. He gives that smoldering look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. that's probably my son's favorite character. Because so I have two daughters, one son. Yeah, and they always watch Tangled. And Great Reed, movie. Reed loves the part where he's like tied up, and then he's just like, "Hey," he gives that smolder. <laughs> Reed will Beautiful. do that nonstop. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All righty. Next question from season three, episode nine. Pull. Oh, okay. This is the question that you're you should be prepared for. Pull your favorite picture from the last year out of your camera roll. Okay. Am I showing this to the camera? Uh, you can. It might not show very well, so you'll probably we'll have, have to, to describe it. Yeah. So this is um, a picture from our summer vacation. Very nice. Um, my sister got a cottage, so we went there. And um, this is my son, Reed, right there, who I just talked about, young Flynn Rider. Um, he is being a pirate on oh, the nice. edge. So he has his little pool noodle, which is sword. Um, and he's standing on a bucket because pirates always stand with their leg up. Of course. Very nice. Um, I picked that because it's also funny. My daughter in the back, Lennon, she is also doing it, but I think she's fishing. Um, not some, some like fishing. how do they, they got to eat. Someone's got to fish it's, on that boat. Probably. True. Right. Very true. You I would say you never think of, or you no. see of pirates fishing, but yeah. Why wouldn't you fish? Exactly. Maybe they have nets that might be more effective. That, I mean, it still counts as fishing. Sure. Just not in the traditional sure. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Pirates, Anyways, there you that go. was the one I picked because it's uh, it was a great week away with those guys, and they're also just f- funny standing there with their life jackets. There you go, very nice. Yep. Alrighty, question number three: Are you familiar with Hurdle? Oh, it's bro. I'm great at Hurdle. Oh, yes. So this is yes. A, this is the thing about Hurdle. I either get it on the if I know the song, I'll get it in the first couple ones. Me too. Yeah. If I, but I don't know a lot of songs. So I know, me too. <laughs> me too. It's so like, it's either a one or a zero. Yeah, <laughs> same. I, uh, so for those of you who don't know, Hurdle is essentially like Wordle, which all of you should know. 
uh, where like you have you it plays the first few seconds of a song and you have to guess what it is based off those first few seconds and so yeah I'm the same way like if I know the song it's like oh I know this mm -hmm. right away and then there are actually a lot that I I recognize the song but I don't know the title or the oh, artist yeah. that's so frustrating I'm not gonna yeah. lie sometimes I look those up because I'm like I know what the <laughs> song is I have no clue what it's called I yeah. type up like the rest of the lyrics or yeah yeah okay so what song would you ace if it was your hurdle? Like the first like couple of milliseconds, you're like, oh yeah, I know the song. Easy. Um, honestly, like, oh, what is it? Um, do you know My Chemical Romance? Yes. Um, Welcome to the Black Parade, because it just starts with that one like C note. It's like, Dum. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it like, it pauses for so long. So having that one note and then that pause, I would get that right away. There you go. That's my hurdle answer. There you go. My Chemical Romance. That was an answer, I think, like a month ago, too, and I nailed that. Pfft. Was it actually? Oh, yeah. Wow, good job. Crushed. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Question number four from season... Oh, sorry, uh, I didn't say this last time. Last question was from season two, episode 22. This one is from season two, episode two. If you could invent anything right now, what would it be? No, no, like, you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about resources. If you could invent anything right now, what would it be, and what would it do? Hmm... Like, the Christian in me is, like, endless f hot dog that never goes bad or right. some type of food. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> it's well, a regenerating what, what hot dog. hot dog is Christian? <laughs> no, like, the trying Christian to stop. The Christian says no. hot dog. Because <laughs> we always have those at barbecues. The Christian, the church picks. Oh, I don't okay, know. okay, That's, okay. No, okay, that makes I mean, like, sense. being a good person, you're trying to think of, like, what, what could I make that helps the most people? right. A hot dog is not it. <laughs> a hot dog wouldn't be. It would be like a tree or something that always reproduces fruit. Right. So it's like you could solve world hunger by like planting this banana tree. Right. And it just always like automatically reproduces right away. You don't have to wait for anything to ripe. Right. The funny person in me <laughs> is like, why don't we have actual hoverboards yet? That's a great question. Like, when I was little, I remember being like, so I was born in 1990. I remember it being 1999 and being like, it's going to be the year 2000 soon. We're going to have hoverboards. Yeah. And like, not like the funky ducks, like actual hoverboards. Yeah. They're still not around. I remember when they, when they first came out with those, like the, the things that you, mm -hmm. the wheels and they called them hoverboards. No. And before I knew what they were, yeah. I was like, we've invented hoverboards. Sure, we made it. This is amazing. And then I found out what hoverboards were. I'm like, you don't hover. No. This is not a hoverboard. There's two wheels. Anyways, yeah, and like they've invented things like drones that can carry people. Like yeah. the technology is there. Yeah. So why don't we? That's like flying cars. They've been talking about flying cars yeah. forever. And it's like they'd cost like two hundred thousand dollars to make yeah. one and it can't fly anywhere. So it's like Yeah. Just stop talking about it in movies, people. There yeah. should be a lie. You can't talk about hoverboards and flying stop cars. Stop making anymore. me excited about yes, it if you're please. not gonna make Thank it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All righty. Question number five from season one, or sorry, season two, episode one. In your opinion, what is the best and worst cereal? This has been deba debated much. What's the many a time best uh, cereal over the past the worst couple of seasons on the podcast? The best cereal, <laughs> man, there's a lot of good cereals. I would say just like Reese Puffs. Okay. They ju you just can't have a bad bowl of Reese Puffs. Yep. The worst cereal... What is the worst cereal? Um, like anything that is a normal cereal that adds nuts to it. So it's like Cheerios mm. with nuts and berries. I don't want those. Yeah. Who buys that? Not okay. me. Things with like fruit in it, like berries, love it. But I'm I'm not a I'm not a nut. But guy, if it, so. if it's like special K with berries, fine. But when it's like something random, just adding it in. Yeah, like, that's fair. Gross. That's just, fair. Just just stop trying to make it healthy. Just give me plain Cheerios. Mm. Yeah. And let me put my brown sugar on them. Yeah. And that's fine. Okay. No. That's healthy, yeah. right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. It brown counts. sugar. Just, yeah, definitely healthy. Spoonful. No, no, uh, sprinkling. Up. Oh, okay. okay. One, <laughs> two. Yeah, definitely healthy. <laughs> Super healthy guy. <laughs> okay. Follow up question to that. What are your thoughts on Fruit Loops? So they've changed over the years. Okay. Because they used to be, like, now they make them with, like, natural food coloring or natural, like, coloring. So yep. they're a little bit, like, browner looking, and mm. they kind of look gross. Yeah. They're fine. They're overrated. Thank you. 
like they used to make Fruit Loops back in the day, sometimes with marshmallows in them, which yeah. actually wasn't that bad. But they they are overrated. They're fine. Yeah. Like when you get those box with like the eight little cereals, yeah, and Fruit Loops in them, you're like, yeah, that's fine. That's your second or third yeah. choice. Like, I actually don't like Fruit Loops, and I have gotten an incredible amount of hate from our uh, junior high community, like and Josh. Why don't you like, like them? I, I explained this in the in the one of the first podcasts we did. Um, we did a tier list of uh, which is actually what this question is based off of is that episode. But I, I explained that like I, I think I had them one time when I was a kid and like didn't like them, mm -hmm. and then just like ever since then it's just kind of been like eh, I don't know. And like that's the other thing. I I like sweet cereals, but I don't like s cereals that are too sweet. Like the ones that taste like candy. I'm like I'm not trying to wake up and eat candy. Trying to wake yeah, up. but those are like the late night bowl cereals. That you I, have. Okay, I guess yeah. But like when I was a kid, I'm not eating late bowl late night bowls of cereal. I do that now all the time. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> all I do now. Yeah. Okay. Another follow up question. This yes. is very important. What are your thoughts on raisin bran cereal? It's not bad. I kind of like it. Like yes, <laughs> yes. That would be yes. like that's a pretty good one to me. Where yes. it's like. The problem, the only problem with raisin bran is that I know it's not healthy. Those raisins mm. are oh, so no. like, it's just full of sugar, but yeah. it's like, I feel good eating. You it. pretend it's healthy. A hundred percent. Like yeah. mini wheats. It's like, I'm super healthy yeah. right now <laughs> as I'm eating frosting, <laughs> like in yeah. at yeah, 7 a.m. Yeah. 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 I'm all, I'm down with raisin bran. Yes. Do you think it's an old man cereal? Oh, a hundred percent. It's an oh, old man cereal, okay. yeah. but I acknowledge that I am that old man. Right. So. Okay. That's fair enough. Okay. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but it, half of your it's answer true. was <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so for our sixth question, I brought, uh, oh, this is no. from season three, episode five, the game called Super Fight. We did an episode on this, okay. obviously, season three. So what I need you to do is I need you to pick one white card out of here. Okay. Am I supposed to show it to you? Uh, not yet. And then I uh, pick two black cards. And for those of you who don't know how Super Fight works... The white cards are character cards, so it could be Hermione from Harry Potter, or a reggae band, or a street fighter. And then the oh, black I cards, have three cards are, oh, okay. The black cards are power-up cards, so this one says literal jazz hands, or there's three of them, or hands glued to hips. So you could have a street fighter with his hands glued to his hips, and there are three of them. That might not be very good, but that's the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to pick uh, one white card and two black cards, and we're going to compete to see whose fighter would win in this scenario. So Okay. I'm gonna I don't pick. have to act these out. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. You oh, great. <laughs> I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, okay. That's an interesting card. We got... Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm going to reveal mine first. Okay. I have my white card, my character card is me. So, this is, this is me toast. that you're fighting. You're toast. Uh, my powers are, I have Sonic Scream, which if you don't know, means to, like I can scream at like... It seems accurate. Supersonic. I feel like if you had a power, it decibels. would be Sonic Scream. I can scream pretty loud. Yeah. I won't do it here, but... Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> and my second one is, uh, can change into a blank at will. And so for the blank, I am allowed to pick another character oh, card. Oh, snap. Which I will do. I, <laughs> I can change into Iron Man <laughs> at will. <laughs> So, so you're Tony Stark, essentially. <laughs> like, you're a normal yes. person who can just call the suit on you. like Essentially, yeah. And I have a sonic screen. Which, but that would hurt you in your own suit. Yeah, but I just lift the visor. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, so you're vulnerable, <laughs> but okay. Okay. So, Apache Warrior. Okay. Uh, who is driving the Pope Mobile? <laughs> like, are they are they in the Pope Mobile yes. or are they driving? Because no, they're like Actually, the Pope is in the back. They they're driving. Okay, the but either way, bulletproof. So good luck with that, bub. <laughs> they're also Amish. <laughs> so. There's some religious conflict uh, inside of the Pope mobile. Yes. They don't necessarily get along, the driver and the Pope, but they're there with one purpose. Right. Uh, <laughs> he also, like Apache warriors, I don't think wear a ton of clothes. I don't think so. <laughs> like, I feel like a Pope, the Pope mobile driver is probably like Secret Service dude who like yeah. wears like suit and tie. Apache warrior? No. Probably not much. He's, he's just off the beaten path, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so a Apache around. Warrior driving the Popmobile and is Amish versus me, who has a Sonic yeah. Screaming. Listen, <laughs> turn when, iron. when you were pulling these cards, I was like, you're toast. Like, this uh, isn't going to last. Like, <laughs> Apache Warrior versus you alone, you can have whatever two cards. 100%, he's got. yeah. Iron Man. I picked Iron Man. Yeah, it's it's over. Like, so the, so the Popmobile is bulletproof. But is it Sonic Scream proof? <laughs> I would think it would it would definitely dampen it. But the problem is Iron Man can just shoot one blaster underneath of it and that's Pope Mobile. <laughs> the Amish part does not help. Can he drive? <laughs> that's a great point. If he's Amish, he's not allowed to. Does he pull the Pope Mobile? It, it depends. So my wife is Mennonite and like it depends what order you're kind of from. Mm. Some people are like from a new order where you can use like right. vehicles and stuff. If you're old order, you're not allowed to drive. <laughs> You also probably, Apache Warrior would be a, a tough sell as that yeah. as well, because most of them are pacifists as well. Yeah, so he's yeah, not yeah. even, he may, Amish, like, sometimes they don't fight either. So it's right. like, we have a pacifist who can't drive And his the Pope car. is like, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a rough scene there. Okay. It's a well, wrap. I officially win that one. That wasn't even close, that. I feel like. <laughs> That was great. Fortunate. <laughs> okay. For the last two questions, they don't have to do, uh, they're not related to the podcast at all. They're just questions that I wanted to ask sure. you. Sure. Because uh, question number seven, if you could go pro in any skill or sport or anything, what would it be other than the occupation you have now? Um, in anything? Anything, any skill. I feel like I would want to be like a punter in the NFL. Mm. So you get like access to free games. You play for a while, which means you're like, those guys don't get paid a lot, but you like play for so long. Yeah. You manage your money well. You're fine. Yeah. You get at sidelines to every game. You have to play four or five plays a week, mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. Easy money. Yeah. You, you really have to tackle a guy or when you do have to go after them, you like give, Oh no, he got yeah. past me. Like, yeah. If you miss a tackle, no one cares. But what about like missing like game winning punts? There's never a game oh, winning no, punt. Oh, I guess because punters. There's and no are different. pressure on you. All you have to do That's is a good point. And it's like you want like a good punter is someone who can like kick it, control out of the, the end range, zone. right? But it's like worst case scenario, it's a touchback. Oh no! Yeah, great job. Shucks. <laughs> yeah, great job. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. There you go. Joel has his life all planned out. I NFL do. kicker. I miss my true call. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, last question. This might be the most crucial question for the continuation of our relationship. Oh, no. I know. More important than our feelings on Raisin Bran and Fruit Loops? Yes. Whoa. I know. The, yeah. the, the, those feelings were, like, pretty crucial, but, like, this is the next level. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? I have strong opinions about this. Mm, okay. Hawaiian pizza is the best pizza. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it is. It's the I best pizza totally out there. I agree. Even like sometimes, you, have you ever had like spicy Hawaiian pizza? No, but that sounds you can good. put some like hot peppers on it. Mm. Like sometimes they come with hot peppers and hot sauce. So yep. good. It's sounds the best pizza. Good. That's like, 100%. that's my go-to. The thing with Hawaiian pizza is everyone's afraid to say they like Hawaiian pizza. because I'm not. I'm not either. I love it. But it's one of those things when you order it, like when we order it at one of our family like dinners, like mm -hmm. on either side, like my wife's side, my side. It's the first one gone because everyone likes it. Yeah. But it's like, what kind of pizza do you want? Everyone's like, oh, no, pepperoni, cheese. Yeah. Sure. And then the Hawaiian pizza, it's gone. Yeah. Because it's like no one wants to pipe up and admit we all like Hawaiian yeah. pizza. No, I totally agree. Except I will be the person who says. I like, do too. I'll say, I don't mind Hawaiian. And then like five other people are like, I also like Hawaiian. I'm like, let's just get Hawaiian yeah. and tell yeah. the pepperoni people it's on them. Yeah. No, I agree. I was at a friend's house once and like their mom was like, Cody, like what kind of pizza do you like? I was like, Hawaiian. And they were like. Really? I was like, yeah. Give me Hawaiian pizza. I will eat it all mm -hmm. immediately. It's true. Yeah. Hawaiian pizza is great. It's the best kind. For all those of you who don't like Hawaiian pizza, there's probably a good chance that you've never had it. Because that's another theme I've noticed is people are really? like, I hate Hawaiian pizza. I'm like, why? They're like, I don't know. I've never had it. It's like, how can... Yeah. Uh, people just say that. People are like, something. I don't like that. And it's like, it's gross. I'm like, have you tried it? I'm like, no. Yeah, exactly. You cannot hate something. Don't knock it until you, you try it. Exactly. Exactly, especially when it comes to Rookies. Hawaiian pizza. So if you haven't had Hawaiian pizza and you think you'll hate it, try it. Do it right now. Right All now. Up. Domino's. Be like, Domino's, hook me up. Ham, bacon, Hawaiian, throw it on there. 
everything. Got it. Get it. Eat it. Like it. It's done. Love it. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. And so is this podcast. You like that? Yeah. Make that little transition? Oh, I set you up and you spiked it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. That is it for this episode of the North Park Youth Podcast. Big thank you to Joel for stepping Thanks in this down. week for Josh, who is currently learning mm, about furthering many a his thing. knowledge. Mm, exactly. Yes. Uh, if you'd like to go listen to more episodes, like the episodes that we featured in today's podcast or today's episode, too many times to say episode in a sentence. A go do that. Uh, we'll have another episode next Monday, so go listen to that as well. And we will see you next week. See ya. <laughs>